On today's video, we're going to talk about RV tips and tricks for traveling with a dog. We're going to talk about safety, comfort, entertainment, food, and some of our essentials that we like to bring with us when we travel. So the first topic I want to talk about is safety. Safety is of the utmost importance and we need to make sure that when we travel we bring safety gear for not only humans like an emergency kit but also an emergency kit for our dogs. The other safety component is making sure you have enough medications. So if your dog is in, taking any kind of special medications or things that you need to bring with you for that, make sure those come with you. We recommend having a tether in your vehicle for your dog. Now, a lot of people like to travel with their dog beside them, and I understand that. They have dogs and cats, and they're roaming around while you're traveling. However, for the safety of you and for the dog, it's a good thing to have a tether. We'll show you exactly how it works and what to do with it. So here's a situation that we really like. It goes directly into the seat belt, and then you can put it around your dog's harness or collar. I, pr I prefer a harness when you're traveling. Put it around there so they are tethered to the vehicle in case the vehicle has a crash. They're easy to install. They're not that hard to do. They just buckle in and snap back in place. So we always have to bring a travel bag with us because Rosie has lots of things that she likes to bring as well. But on our travel bag, um, I like to think of it as like a doggy diaper bag because we bring everything from pet food to water to poop bags to some treats. Um, all the things just in case. I always, always make sure that we have a copy of her medical records with us at all time. Most up to date. You never know when you're going to travel. Something happens. You need to go see a veterinarian at the last minute and you have them with you. So make sure that you bring a copy of your medical, med a hard copy of your medical records with you. All right, so tip number two is comfort. Let's talk about comfort. Uh, does your dog sleep in the bed with you? Some people have their dog sleeping in the bed. If not, you need to make a nice little pad uh, for the dog to lay down. Make sure you've got nice little dog blankets, um, a pillow, something of that, like a dog bed for them to lay down and make it nice and cozy so they feel safe in case of inclement weather or they just wanna be close to you near the bed. So make sure you have all of their comfort essentials next to you when you travel. So we have a, uh, jackknife sofa couch that turns into a bed and Rosie loves to sit on this this is like her favorite place ever and what we've learned is two things number one it gets a little cold in the winter time a little hot in the summertime so what we've done is we've stuck this um, large bath mat rubberized back bath mat and we put it on top of the couch and then we put a blanket over it sometimes or we just uh, you know especially if it's muddy and things like that but that's where she likes to sleep and uh, while we're traveling, we also have her anchored in here with a tether, so it's the safest place for her. So one of our suggestions is a rubberized bath mat uh, while you're traveling in your RV. And they're also very easy to wash. So keeping your RV at the right temperature is another key component when you have a dog in your RV. Let's say you take a trip and you want to leave your dog in, in the uh, RV and you want to make sure you've got the right temperature. There are quite a few different things you can use to check them. So making sure that your RV is temperature appropriate is very important, especially if you're going to leave your pet inside. We have a device here called a Nimble, and this is what Rosie and I have been using for about a year now. It really works out great. I can set parameters, and it tells me the temperature inside the RV. So if I don't want the temperature to be above 80 degrees, and the Nimble detects it's 81 degrees, it will send me a text and let me know. So if I'm on excursion, I can come back to the RV and make sure everything's okay and check on Rosie. The next essential when traveling in an RV with a dog is making sure that you have enough toys for entertainment. So it's really important that you have toys and treats to keep them entertained on the road, but more importantly when you get there as well. So I always like to keep a bag, um, and this is a little basket bag that we have, and I've got everything from elk antlers, to balls, to chewy toys, to hard smoked cheese. We have lots of these, and we put them in the basket so she knows consistently where all her stuff is going to be, and I try to make it as accessible as possible. All right, so in my little RV kitchen underneath my stove is one drawer. And in this drawer, I have lots of dog stuff. I have everything from my dog food to, um, let's see, lots of different kinds of dog food, as you can see. We like all sorts of things to lots of different extra bowls. So if we go traveling, I need to take a water bowl with me. That's a portable thing. That's a great idea. I have lots of extra treats. I've cut them up. So if you're a bully stick person, you want to make sure you cut up your bully sticks ahead of time so you have them. I have my... 30 foot cotton lead, which is really, really handy to have. 
So one of the reasons why I like to have a cotton lead is sometimes we go places and I want my dog to run, but they have to be on a leash. So this is one of those really big items that I, I suggest everyone have in their RV when you have a dog that likes to run and go do things. Not every RV park or campground has a dog park where your dog can get some exercise. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I've got a couple extra leads, a couple extra leashes, and I've got some really good fetching toys. We love this one. It's called a fetch and stick. If you haven't tried it, I highly suggest you try that one out. Uh, a lot of dogs love it. It makes a great noise. Um, if you are camping, you need to make sure that your dog is reflective at night because I know there's going to come a time when your dog needs to go for a walk at night and needs to go outside. This is something that I highly suggest you put on your dog so they have a safety light um, so that you can find your dog as well as others can see your dog when you're walking around. have to have a couple annoying squeaky toys because if you're like me you like to take a lot of pictures and when you want to take your dog and she doesn't want to take a look at you you're like you can do the squeaky toy and you can probably get her attention let's see Rosie's like um yeah I'm here you don't have to do that but yeah the squeaky toy really does help We do carry options of dog bowls. We like to make sure we have some that are collapsible. So if we go out somewhere and we want to go out to eat and bring the dog, you know, we can have something and, and bring her food with them. We also have these wonderful stainless steel ones that have a rubberized bottom, which I like. So when you're traveling, they stay put and we don't have to worry about that. And then if you just want to stick something like in your dog bag and have a collapsible one that folds into a pocket, these are great too. You can put water in them and, and uh, other treats. So always make sure you have a collapsible dog bowl with you when you go traveling. Accessibility of items is really important when traveling. We have put up some command strips by the door so that we have all of our items that we need to get out really quickly, like we've got our keys and a flashlight and poop bags, our different kinds of leads. I've got this wonderful bag that I'd love to talk to you guys about. This is from Poodoo Leash and I love this bag. So I can put um, poop bags in there, I can put my cell phone in there, my credit cards if we're going for a long walk, whatever it might be. This has been the handiest thing. I think I've, I've been using one for two years now and I cannot say enough about these things. I'll put a link in the description below. So we have different kinds of dog leads that we'd like to use for different reasons. Um, you can tell the one on the left is uh, flashing. It works really well when we're going out at night. We're trying to make sure that people know there's a dog down there. So if you don't have something flashing on your dog's collar and you don't have reflective gear, you need to make sure you're carrying something so that the world knows you have a puppy and everything is okay. I do like the retractables when you're like trying to get a dog to go out and go to the bathroom, especially in rainy days, um, and you just want to open up the door and let the dog go to the bathroom and come back in. Those are pretty handy. This is The next one is a 30-foot cotton lead that we use when we're going out someplace that may not have a dog park, but you know they want to go running around and do something, but you need to keep your dog on a leash. So the 30-foot dog lead is really quite handy when they don't have a dog park and you go places. So we use that quite a bit to make sure that our dog gets a lot of exercise, running around and doing some things, so I highly recommend that. And of course we just have another comfort lead, which is nice to go for long walks. And it's shorter, it's about six feet, so we can enjoy the hike and enjoy the day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment below, and tell us your tips and tricks for traveling with a dog in the RV. We love to hear them and we love to add to our community. And thank you to all of our Forever Best Friend Insiders for allowing us to make this video. If you'd like to become an insider, please look at the link below and become a Forever Best Friend Insider today.